Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Fuller from TradeWinds.com, and this is our update for August 30th, 2017. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. We saw stocks close mostly higher today. In fact, the S&P 500 made it a fourth straight day of gains. The Dow, however, today up 27 points here. Not exactly, um, you know, follow through with authority here. I mean, this is an indecisive candle. Uh, it was a battle between buyers and sellers here, and um, it really, there there was no winner. We closed pretty pretty close to yesterday's close, and still close below that that moving average. So although it was encouraging, it really wasn't all that great. But the S and P 500 managed to gain 11 points and did close above the moving average, as did the Nasdaq. Now this is more like it, up 66 points here. Some big names. Um, gaining today, the likes of Apple, Facebook, Google, Netflix, all traded higher and helped lead uh, these gains today, while the Russell also managed to gain about 7.5 points and closed above that downward slope in 20. Now, we're not out of the woods here yet. I mean, really, we're smack dab in the middle of this range for the Russell, so we could still roll over. But, uh, you know, if we go much higher here, this this pattern could be broken. But... Uh, we'll see what the next few days bring. The uh, TLT, the um, ETF for the 20-year Treasury, uh, fairly quiet today, down just four cents, while gold pulled back about five points, and uh, crude was down another percent uh, today. Now, there's a few interesting charts out there, Amazon being one of them. Is Amazon here at an inflection point? It certainly looks like it. Let's have a look at a few different time frames. Here on the daily, it looks like, you know, we've got nice trend lower. We've put in lower lows and lower highs. And now we're retracing into that downsloping 20. So any reversal here would cause a nice short setup on Amazon. But if we look at the weekly chart, it looks like the complete opposite. In fact, we've got... Upward trend, upward momentum here. We've got a, an orderly pullback just below that 20 period moving average. But today we got a nice bounce. Uh, it was up almost 14 points and, you know, could be ready for a move higher. So we've got totally opposite pictures between those two. One of them has to work out, um, but certainly not both. Uh, monthly, so far, you know, is also a mixed picture in itself because if you look at the monthly candle here, although we, you know, if you look at the, the last two candles here, we've got a bearish engulfing setup forming. Um, and, you know, certainly we're, we're um, uh, very close to the end of the month here. But, you know, if you look at this candle, we were much lower and have made most of it back. So, you know, and, and we have upward momentum. So at this point, it looks like the, the most likely scenario is that we trade to the upside. But uh, we're really at that inflection point here where it can go either way. And uh, the next day or two will really mean a lot for Amazon. Now, um, I want to show you one thing. I want to go back to the uh, chart of the uh, Dow Jones here and quickly just show you that it, if, if you've ever uh, found it, challenging to remain in a trade for the bulk of, of that move if you've ever been scared out of a trade i'm going to show you a little technique that will comp help, help you completely avoid that in the future all right and, and it, it comes down to price action and all you need you don't need indicators on your chart you don't need anything but your your price bars so let's just say that we were taking a a, a very simple approach here and just going long on breakouts Okay, so if we break above a previous high, like we did back here, and we decide to go long, how do we remain in that trade for the bulk of the move? Well, a very simple technique is to stay long until two things happen. First of all, we get a close below a previous low. So if you look at these candles, we're, we're consistently getting higher lows and higher highs. You know, and up until this point where we get a close below a previous low. Right? Not a trade below, but a close below a previous low. So what you want to do at that point is mark that low. And if there's a trade that goes through it, if you get a trade beneath that level, then you exit the trade. But you can see in this instance, buyer stepped back in and drove it higher again. And so we would, we would have stayed in all the way up until this point here. 
where we again got a close below a previous low and there was follow through. There was a trade below that level. So you can see that from the entry here, it pretty much, pretty much kept you in right up until things went kind of sideways here. So you capture the full move. Let's do this again. If we take another break of the high here as our entry, let's scroll back and see how this would have worked out. And we're going to remain in the trade up until we get a close below a previous low here. All right. And that doesn't happen up until here. And then we get follow through. Right. So once again, you know, you're not catching the very top of the move, but it keeps you in for the bulk of it. These little red candles in between here, okay, don't scare you out. There's no reason to get scared out until and unless you get a close below previous low with follow through. Okay, hope that helps. But that's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update.